I read guys, this time I'm in North Northumberland, just next to Wooler, and I plan to be doing a, a creepy overnight stay at Middleton Old Town. And I've got a spare pair of underpants just in case, so we'll uh, catch you further down. Yeah, we're all at the deserted village of Middleton Old Town. Does that look creepy or what? There's old buildings and old farmsteads just dotted around all over the place. I think this one here was last inhabited around about the 1960s. It must have been a harsh, bleak living. This is where I am just here, and as you can see, there's like old settlements all over. So I've basically just parked my car just there, come down here, and just followed this path on the way in. So I've got another old building just here now. I'm not sure if this one was just used as a barn. Doesn't seem to be any fireplaces. Smell the vision. Smell the urine. What a spooky place. Obviously the bathroom. Things I do for YouTube, eh? Last lived in in the 1960s. Well, the only things that live here now are the sheep. What a place. It's spooky and creepy. I think I'm going to spend a night here. It absolutely stinks a sheep piss. quite overpowering actually. Bit 
to the old floorboards there. Can you imagine what it would have been like to live here? The remains of North Middleton Village lie each side of the tributary of Colgate Water. There are two rows of small plots with enclosures and platforms representing at least six buildings facing each other across a hollow way which runs east to west. The remains survive as earthworks and in places over one metre high. The exposed walls of some buildings show their construction of some bonded with clay. The largest building is about 27 metres long and the smallest 8 metres. Other features of the village include a well, a possible kiln and some areas of ridge and furrow cultivation. Old documents suggest this is the village of North Middleton, although it was originally called Middle East Middleton when first mentioned in 1242. Some of the documents help to give an idea of how many people may have lived here. For example, in 1296 there were eight taxpayers and in 1580 there were 11 tenants. The settlement probably moved at the end of the 18th century and only a few buildings were left standing here by 1800. There are two ruined modern cottages on the north side of the village. And Chillingham Castle lies about three mile east of the village and with about 800 years of occupation it's not surprising that this area is highly haunted. That's my company for the night. I've been ganged up on here by sheep. Which one's forced? Come on then. They're trying to get us in a pincer movement. Now again. Go on, you buggers, run. Go on, run. If you know what's good for you. I stop our there. Oh, fight, fight. Fight. There's part of an old kiddie's bike here. Um, it looks old. So you're kind of like getting a sense of the, the people that once occupied these buildings. I think these are slow berries. Yeah, I think they are. Absolutely loads of them. Used to make gin, I believe. Blackthorn, to give it its common name. You can just imagine them uh, sitting around the fire getting drunk on slow gin. There wouldn't be much else to do out here, like. Sounds good to me, like. I think it would have been cultivated at one point. I don't think it just landed here by accident. You can just imagine it, can't you? Run the bath, pet. I'm just going to have another glass of slow gin and get warm by the fire. 
it's starting to get dark now it's starting to take on a little bit more of a sinister atmosphere I'll be setting me tent up before long in the next half hour most haunted nah this is where it's at solo wild camp most haunted no camera crew nothing just me you could be sat at home watching soap so you could be out here in a creepy spooky village I mean there'd be people sat at home thinking he must be wrong of his mind it's a certain breed of human being for to come out here do a spooky wild camp in the middle of nowhere in a creepy derelict village the usual sort of setup it's pretty much uh, pitch dark now camera just went off for no for no reason there just went off is anybody here that wants to make a self present Absolutely shit myself here. <clears throat> Is anybody here? One creepy place, it's like <sighs> right, we're just walking around the building here can't see a thing in front of us just stumbling all over the place just me nobody else if you want to make yourself known make yourself visible
<coughs> don't mean you any harm. I'm just here by myself. I'm at the next spooky location here. any spirits here that want to make yourself present This is one spooky place like I've just done a walk around the building there uh, haven't picked up on anything yet my camera keeps turning itself off for no apparent reason I don't know whether that's a sign or or what I'm going to call it at that because I'm absolutely shitting myself here yeah, like that's enough right So uh, we'll see us in the morning, hopefully, unless anything spooktacular happens. As you can hear, that wind's quite bad. I think it's the tail end of some hurricane. But anyway, I had to be in my tent a little bit earlier. Uh, it's about seven in the morning anyway. Uh, it was just starting to rip the pegs out. Uh, absolutely horrendous. So I'm all packed up now and uh, ready to set off back over to the car. So I think we'll just call this one a done deal and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.